Alright, so I recently mentioned that the Arnold press was just not a good exercise, and this definitely seemed to stir up some controversy, so here is my explanation. Now, the idea behind the Arnold press is that you're able to work all three heads of your delt by rotating your arms at the bottom, but this is just not true. You see, each head of the delt has a pretty unique function, with the front delt primarily performing flexion, the lateral delt primarily abduction, and the rear delt extension, none of which are receiving any extra stimulus by simply rotating your arms at the end. You're not extending your shoulders at all, you're not abducting them, and they aren't able to flex or stretch to any greater degree. So the added rotation isn't really adding anything other than less overall stability and more peripheral fatigue. So in that case, all this exercise is, is just a slightly worse version of a normal shoulder press, since you're only really working the front delt, but this time with the extra limiter of rotation. This is why I deemed it as useless, because if you want to grow your front delt, just do a seated shoulder press, and if you want to grow your lateral or rear delt, just stick to a side raise or rear delt fly. Don't try combining all three of them into one, because then you're just adding more limiters with no extra benefit.